Hey cat, I found this spider. Is this a brown recluse? So you found a brown spider and it might be a brown recluse. Maybe it has six eyes. Maybe it has the violin pattern on its carapace. Or maybe it's just brown. Or maybe it's just a spider. People ask me all the time if the spider they found is a brown recluse. If you keep spiders or you know just a little bit about spiders, you kind of become the spider identifier for your friends and family. So you'll probably get a lot of questions asking, is this a brown recluse? And a lot of the time it is not a brown recluse. You stash your drugs in a brown recluse textbook. It's never brown recluse. In fact, almost every time it's not a brown recluse and I can't think of one instance where the spider somebody sent me was actually a brown recluse. And I live in Missouri where there's a lot of brown recluse. So a while ago, I found this brown recluse in my kitchen and I made a video talking about it. A lot of people did have some criticism for it and it was that this map that I showed was incorrect. So first, let me start off by saying that the map that I showed actually shows the native populations around the United States. These populations are where brown recluse will be most dense, and this is their native range. This is their natural native range. Can small populations of brown recluse exist outside of this range? Yes, absolutely, but it is very rare for that to happen. So although they can exist outside of that range on this map, it's just not common, but it is possible. But you know what else is possible? That people are confusing other spiders as brown recluse. So in this video, we're actually going to talk about spider species that are most commonly confused for brown recluse. Because of the brown recluse's terrible reputation with everyone, these spiders unfortunately are usually killed because they're confused as a brown recluse. Oh, also, thank you so much, Nick Kruger. You can check him out on Instagram. He's the one who supplied me with all of these pictures. So if you haven't checked him out on Instagram, I will link it down below. So one of the first spiders that get confused a lot for brown recluse that are actually distributed pretty much worldwide are cellar spiders. So they actually have a very similar pattern to the brown recluse. They have a very fiddle-like look on their carapace. And so you can see how people may see, hey, look, it's brown and it has a fiddle on its back. It's a brown recluse. Really though, they're just cellar spiders. They're not medically significant. They are brown and they do have a very similar fiddle pattern on them. However, they're a totally different species, nothing threatening to humans. In fact, their fangs are like super small. So even if they wanted to bite you, it would really be difficult to penetrate your skin. But nonetheless, these are often found in like obviously cellars, basements, areas like that. They like cooler, damper, darker areas and they're found pretty much all over. So yeah, they get confused a lot. Another spider that often gets confused are Parsons spiders. So these are actually mainly found in North America and these are commonly found in homes, not a serious bite. In fact, these look really different than brown recluse, but it is kind of a brownish looking spider. And to those who might not have any idea about like different species of spiders, I could see how somebody would confuse it as a brown recluse because from getting messages from people asking me to ID spiders, a lot of times people think wolf spiders are brown recluse, which have a very different build than brown recluse as well. So this one is actually really interesting, spitting spiders. So these spiders actually catch their prey by spitting a fluid at them that consists of venom and liquid silk. Very interesting, innovative. And yeah, their pattern is very different than a brown recluse, but what often gets them confused as one is the fact that they also have six eyes like a brown recluse. Their eye pattern is very similar. They're brown. You do, you, you figure it out there. But yeah, these are actually very widespread, but they aren't a brown recluse. They just, their eyes look like it. Okay, Florida, I'm talking to you. Florida! Florida, this is for you. I got so many people from Florida who were so mad at me for saying that brown recluse are in these ranges, which doesn't include Florida. So let's talk about it. Are there brown recluse in Florida? I mean, it's possible. I'm not going to say no, because there's a lot of not native species in Florida. I think that's why Florida has very strict laws on like roaches and stuff, because they don't want it messing with their local wildlife, which good for them. But, but, but brown recluse, they probably exist in Florida. Is my map wrong? No, because they are not 
from Florida. They are not native to Florida. If they are there, they have been introduced to Florida, but there is also a very dense populated species of spider known as the Southern house spider, whose mature males look almost identical to brown recluse. The only difference is that their pedipalps are a little bit different and they are larger than brown recluse, but they look almost exactly like them. And they are very heavily populated in the South and especially in Florida. As you see, they also have like a really similar pattern to their carapace. So not only are they brown and they have a very similar structure to the brown recluse, but they have the fiddle on their back. Crazy, right? The females do not look like brown recluse as much. It's really the mature males that get confused. And it's really interesting because I was on Instagram one day just kind of scrolling through, looking at things hashtag brown recluse, and I saw so many of these from people saying that it was a brown recluse, that they found a brown recluse. Obviously people that don't keep spiders and aren't in the hobby like that or anything, but it was just interesting to me how many people were hashtagging them as brown recluse and believing that they are brown recluse, but they're not. They're southern house spider mature males looking for a girl. Also, really fun fact, they play dead when they're threatened. Same though. And we have one more that I wanted to talk about, which is the running crab spider. This genera is found almost worldwide, so if you live on Earth, there's a good chance you live around at least one of these species. And most of them are brown, so, hmm. I believe they have a little bit similar of a build to a brown recluse. They're a little bit more fragile looking. They're not as bulky as like a parson spider or a wolf spider, but you know, they do have that more thin spidery look to them. So I just thought I'd include them, especially since they're kind of found almost everywhere. So now that we talked about a lot of spiders that commonly are confused as brown recluse, I wanted to talk a little bit more about their venom. So none of the spider species that we talked about besides the brown recluse obviously are considered medically significant, although they all can and probably do bite occasionally. It's not really something that they're trying to do. They're just trying to live their best spider life. I mean, they can't really say, hey dude, I'm not trying to get in your way, but there's like a roach that ran over there. So I just wanted to like go grab that because I'm freaking starving. Back on track, back on track, back on track. None of these spiders that we talked about today are medically significant, but of course, secondary infections can and do occur. So commonly when somebody is actually bitten by a brown recluse or pretty much any other spider, if a secondary infection occurs, which can look like necrosis or it can be like a staph infection or whatever, commonly it is caused by the actual bacteria on the fangs or on the wound after. And that is when the, you know, really scary symptoms, the stereotypical brown recluse bite symptoms can and do appear. Now, this is really rare. It is not something that occurs commonly. And I do know that on my last brown recluse video, a lot of people commented that they know somebody who actually lost a leg to a brown recluse, this or that. I mean, I'm not gonna sit there and argue with people. If that's what it was, I'm so sorry. I'm just, kind of putting out the information that things like that aren't common, but also doctors commonly misdiagnose these kind of issues as a brown recluse bite. So it's not necessarily the venom that does that. It is the bacteria that gets in the wound and that can occur from any spider or bug bite or any break in your skin. Obviously not a knock on doctors. They're the medical professionals, not me, but I am a little bit of a spider enthusiast. So I can say with confidence that a lot of doctors aren't really familiar with different species of spiders or venom potencies and stuff like that. So if you say you think you were bit by a spider or something, they're not going to really argue it and most of them aren't gonna have that knowledge to say, well, I think it was this spider. And unless you actually bring the spider to them and they ID it as a brown recluse and don't confuse it for one of the spiders that we talked about today, then there's just really no way to know for sure if it was a brown recluse. And if you're not in that native range that they exist, probably wasn't a brown recluse. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Rob C. If you guys are familiar with him, Tarantula Guy 1976 here on YouTube. He is like an OG tarantula YouTuber here before us all. Basically, he got bit by quite a few different tarantulas. Rob, what is up with that? <laughs> One tarantula that he specifically got bit by and had really bad effects from was a P or nada. One thing I asked him when he did come here a while back and we were just talking, I asked him, what did the hospital say about his tarantula bite? I've always kind of wondered what our one of our local hospitals would say. They kept asking him, was he sure it was a tarantula? 
you kind of knew it was a tarantula because it was this pure nada, but you know, that just kind of goes to show how doctors don't really know spiders or tarantulas like the hobbyist and enthusiast and entomologist. They're not gonna be as educated basically on spiders because that's not their thing. A really good channel to check out is Jack's World of, World of Warcraft. I wanna keep saying Jack's World of Warcraft. World of Wildlife. Jack's World of Wildlife. I'm sorry, Jack. He did a couple really good videos on bite reports and he actually had a brown recluse intentionally bite him and documented the effects of that. He explained everything really well. I will link that video down below. Here are some clips that I'm using with his permission. Look at that. That is a very interesting spider. Now these send shivers down people's spines. This is probably one of the creepier looking <laughs> spiders. Um, Real small eyes, real long spindly legs. I'm going to pin her. <laughs> she has different plans. So you can see she's actually using tiny hairs on her legs to alert her whenever I start to push down and then she starts to move away. Uh, so that's actually pretty much the only way you can get a brown recluse to bite you is if you pin them to your skin. So far she's not doing anything by me pinning her, her, um, Oh, 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 I felt that. That was a bite. Oh, actually, look, if she'll move a little bit. See that on the skin? That's venom. I'm going to update on the sting uh, and show you guys that if you keep it clean, if you take care of your bites, um, they're really not anything to be worried about. Your licensed physicians, your doctors are not entomologists, are not arachnologists. And a lot of these bites um, that can exhibit symptoms can be, you know, misidentification. I will update on it and we'll see what it does. This is day 10, the final day I'm recording the brown recluse bite. <laughs> oh, oh, where, 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 where's all the, where's all the necrosis? Where's all of the rotting flesh? Could, could it be? that Loxoceles reclusa is no more dangerous than your average house spider. So anyway, I hope this clears things up. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but I just kind of wanted to collect information. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. And I have a Patreon. See you guys soon. I have an expo video coming up. Also some really cool things. A new edition coming, shipping to me, an unboxing. Stuff like that. Let's do it. I'm ready. That's probably why I'm in a good mood. Okay, bye.